What is going on guys, welcome to Gumps Videos, my name is Kyle Gump. today I'll be reviewing Spider-Man Homecoming. So I'm a really big Spider-Man fan, he was the first superhero I really grew up with, and this movie got the Spider-Man I've been looking for my entire life. I love Tobey Maguire, but he didn't have a cool Spider-Man. I love Andrew Garfield, but he didn't have a good Peter Parker. This had the best of both worlds, Tom Holland pulls off the character tremendously, and I mean this wholeheartedly, I looked at this movie like a critic, and it was great. It was such a phenomenal movie with Tom Holland capturing Peter Parker and Spider-Man. Peter Parker was so relatable and you knew he was a kid. He just like, you related to him as a character. And I loved, loved the interactions between Peter Parker and Ned. Those two had such a great friendship and sometimes with friendships in superhero movies that are like, yeah, you could be friends, I guess. These two actually seemed like they were actually friends. When Ned finds out that Tom is Spider-Man. The reaction was so natural because I'm like, if I found out my best friend that I hang out with every single day was a superhero, that's exactly how I would react. And the way he was talking to him after the fact, it was so clever and it just it, like it kind of captured the high school part of it well. And that's also something I really want to talk about is the high school stuff. I really enjoyed it. It was so cool to see. There's some things I wasn't a fan of, like the Flash. I wasn't, not the Flash, but there's a guy named Flash. Hated him. He was kind of stupid, to be honest, because like him being a boy, I'm like, really? That's kind of not how bullies act in high school. And then he was just kind of an unlikable douchebag. There had to be some redeeming quality about him, but no, he just shits on Peter. I mean, I get, there are guys like that, but there was nothing to him just to kind of slow down Peter. And as a character, he, he, he was just a plot device to say, oh, we gotta make, um, you know, Spider-Man struggle in school some way, so let's have Flash. I really loved the villain. I was really surprised. He's not the greatest villain, but a solid villain overall. I was, I mean, it's Michael Keaton, for crying out loud, but he's just so awesome. Like, he was badass. I won't, a lot of people have been saying he's scary. I wasn't as scared, but I was kind of... Asking myself, how's Spider-Man gonna beat this guy because of certain aspects to what he does? And there's a scene towards the end of the movie that involves Vulture and Spider-Man. Oh, spoiler, they interact. But there's a scene between them. I'm not gonna spoil it, but you, if you guys have seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. That even though it's kind of cliche, my mind was going in a thousand different places and it caught me off guard. And I was really surprised, so it was really well done. That's how you treat a cliche. You kind of hide it behind other visual noise and other good stuff. Not just visual noise, good visual noise. So that was I give them a lot of props for doing that. Making a cliche very unnoticeable at first. I really liked the vulture. He was so relatable, like you kind of feel you feel for him. You're like, okay, it makes sense. When he wins, he doesn't win. That's something I'm not going to spoil, but when he wins, he doesn't win. And that was so amazing because a lot of superhero movies do not do that. And it was kind of refreshing to see that. And I was like, I kind of want a Vulture to win at the end of the day. Not because I wanted Peter Parker to die. Because in the trailer, Vulture said, I will kill you. I didn't want Peter to die, but I didn't want Vulture to lose either. So it was it put you in a predicament where I, like most superhero movies don't really do, like with Civil War. One negative was Michelle, the character Michelle, and there was something that she said that kind of bothered me. I put a lot of things in my mind like, okay, maybe it's this, maybe that, maybe this, maybe that. I'll talk about more of that in a spoiler review, which well, I will be doing with a friend of mine, but I didn't like her because she was just... I mean, I don't hate her for what he, she says, she's just there. There's no purpose to her character. They did develop her in ways where I was kind of okay with, but she doesn't really do anything in this movie. So she's not in the movie a lot, but when she's in the movie, I'm like, why is she here to set up another movie? Which I was not very happy about. Another thing I was not happy about was I'm cool with interconnecting, but this movie showed a little too much Avengers. It, it, it focuses on Spider-Man trying to become an Avenger, so clearly you're gonna have a lot of Avengers. But come the fuck on! Like there was every five seconds there was an Avengers reference. I'm like, for fuck's sake, just move on! Like it was, it got really repetitive really fast. So I won't say it took me out of the movie. I'm just like, oh my god, okay, I get it. Avengers, 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 Avengers. So that was kind of annoying. And actually, I did mention a positive. 
Robert Downey Jr. They handled him just right. Every time he was on screen, you're like, oh my god. But he was not in there so much where you're like, oh my god. They played him so, so well. I'm so proud of the um, writers for that. He showed up when he was needed, but and there was times where you wanted him to be there, but they didn't. They held back and just said nope. And I'm really proud they did that. And it kind of there's a lot that Iron Man kind of like raised for uh, Tom Holland Spider Man, but Tom Holland in a way is raising Iron Man to be a little bit better. And it was just like the interactions between the two was awesome. And I love Happy Hogan. Happy Hogan in this movie is freaking awesome. So overall, this movie is really good with just a couple of negatives in my book. A lot of people do complain about the, you know, this some of the high school drama. A little bit, some of it was a little bullshit, but other than that, there's a couple of little nitpicks here and there. But I'm not going to get really into because there's some spoilers involved. But I'm going to give this movie four out of five stars. I want to hear your thoughts down below, guys. I have a Twitter, Instagram, Gums underscore videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that crap. Later, goodbye.